So yeah, definitely get this deck. These cards are beyond beautiful. Um, she did an amazing job on them. And I just am like, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Hey beautiful people, welcome back to the With Love Cool YouTube channel. If, here you'll find tons of videos on wellness, human design, motherhood, and so much more. My pregnancy journey and family life. Also what it's like as a 3-5 self-projected projector and videos on the projector experience. Also I share about wellness and also my CMOS at my apothecary. So check out withlovecole.com at all platforms and my website. Hey beautiful people, so today I got really really inspired to do a unboxing because I recently got this beautiful deck called The Field Tarot off Amazon and it's by Hannah Elizabeth Fofana. The cards are really beautiful. I've seen this deck before on other YouTube channels who do tarot and I just was like, I love those cards. I don't really have many tarot cards. I have the True Heart Intuitive Tarot deck. I have the Rider Waite Tarot mini deck, and I have a World Spirit Tarot deck. So I only have three tarot decks. That's how particular I am about the decks I use. I really love using the Rider Waite mini deck just because I love the fact that it was created by the Rider Waite, but also it was created by, illustrated by Pamela Coleman Smith, who was a Jamaican American, um, tarot illustrator so i really love using the rider waith for that reason to honor her and honor the work that she did and so many other decks are based off of that deck that she created and the imagery that she used at that time so because of that um, i don't really stray but i did decide to get the field tarot deck so i am gonna go unbox it for you already i love the imagery of the pyramids i'm a right angle cross of the sphinx in human design so i already feel connected to this deck on that level um, and then also the moon and the sun imagery i really love the elements and nature so having a deck that has that image imagery was important for me and the abstract art. So the side of the box looks like this. It came wrapped, um, like shrink wrapped in plastic. I did already take it out of that because I was really excited to just open the box, but I did not unbox it as yet. So it says, the field tarot was created to guide readers through the sacred space, the field, where the tarot narrative takes place. Inspired by colorful, botanical, and otherworldly dreamscapes, the accessible artwork situates the reader within the scene, allowing them to easily connect with card meetings. The field tarot acts as an intuitive tool to help readers navigate through life relationships and their inner and outward journeys. It, it has the standard 78 cards and the 96 page guidebook. Well, the guidebook, that's not, a, I don't know if that's a standard for tarot decks, but the 78 cards are. And it's by US Game Systems, which is a great company for getting card decks from. Um, they have the Rider Waithe, they have all the other decks I mentioned, I think is actually US Games. So let's see the strength card. We got a black woman on it, period. Very very literal <laughs> and a beautiful imagery as well and then we also have for these seven of cups i love the cups and i love the simple message of choices <laughs> all right so now let's get into the unboxing of these so there it goes i'm gonna just move things out of the way Feathers are a beautiful omen, and it also is a great way to bring ancestors or your guides into the space. And then I figure I might as well use my beautiful sage and get this thing going over the cards. Because when you are using a new deck of cards, you do want to cleanse the energy from where you got it. And especially if it's Amazon, it could have been sitting in the warehouse. Um, your package handler could have had like a bad day that day. You don't know. So clear the energy um, sage is great palo santo is great just be mindful of knowing where your sage and palo santo comes from we do want to make sure that the indigenous tribes and areas that we may be getting these things from that they are also getting the material gain from 
us. Um, so just being intentional about that, especially because, you know, these resources are natural and limited. So shout out to Bic for this beautiful, shout out to Bic for this beautiful Bic lighter. I'm going to use this lighter and get it going. So I'm going to actually cleanse the deck in the box. You can put it three times. Sometimes I like to do all directions. And I'm doing it intuitively right now, just because, hey, why not? So this sage is pretty loud. <laughs> I put the sage out. We have the box here. So let's open the deck and see what's inside. So this is the guidebook. Beautiful. I love the cover. I love that a lot of these new decks are using imagery that's like blue hair, different color skins like sometimes colors that aren't actual skin complexion so just to make the deck very collective and everyone feel included um so this is the okay the guidebook it has an introduction reading tarot the major arcana minor arcana wands cups swords disc so that is how they name the cards they keep it very similar um, I think they use disc instead of pentacles. That's the only change um, to the traditional tarot. Oh, and these are how the explanations look. So for example, Princess of Wands and Prince of Wands is what I open to. So it has an overarching theme. Then it has a little description kind of mentioning the archetype. And then keywords. So for Princess of Wands, discovery, restlessness, adventure, creativity, naivety, and instinct. So I really love that. It's um, pretty simple and to the point. This would be great for someone who is a new um, reader of tarot and just needs very simple understanding or is doing like very uh, two, three, four, five card spreads, I think are great for uh, books like this. Or sometimes even more. I mean, I don't want to limit anybody's abilities. Um, you can use this for everything. I think the simpler, the better a lot of the time. So you can have your own interpretations. So the artist, Hannah Elizabeth Fofana, created the field tarot as a means to connect her lifelong love of tarot with her background in graphic design and illustration. She has spent her career moving between agency, corporate, and freelance design settings, but has always strived to make time for creative projects on the side. Many elements and cards used throughout the deck were influenced by her events, family, and friends, most notably her journey to becoming a new mother. I had no idea. Wow. So sometimes when you're connected to a deck, it's for a reason. Um, I had no idea she was a new mom when she created this deck. I, and I, again, as I said, I barely get decks. So <laughs> girl, I love this. Go into opening the deck. <laughs> so here is the deck. It's all wrapped up. So I'm going to use these nails and pop them. Okay, so as I was opening the deck, I don't know if you guys can see the first card, got a little pull on it. There. Um, it did get a little pull on it, it's the King of Disc. <laughs> the power card. I take all that, all that is be signs, y'all. So yes, the King of Pentacles. But yeah, so this is the deck, look at these cards. And I love that it does come in order. So beginnings, magician, high priestess, the empress, the emperor, the hierophant, the lovers. Can you guys see that? There we go. The chariot. 
Justice, The Hermit, Fortune, Strength, Perspective, Death. So some of the words, the names are changed for the Major Arcana, so it probably is, sim it is similar to the Minor Arcana in that sense. Temperance. The devil. The devil card is beautiful. Why is it hidden like this? That is really beautiful. A lot of these images are just very simple, which I love. Like, she doesn't really complicate it. Look, the tower with the lightning strike in the back and then space and beautifully designed. The star card. Wow. The moon. This is the cover art of the deck. Well, of the guidebook. And then... The sun, judgment, the universe, and I'll give you one minor arcana. I don't want to show her whole deck so you guys get the cards, but the first card of the minor arcana is the ace of wands, energy, do, do, do. energy, do, 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 do. <laughs> so yeah, wow. I will show you guys glimpses. Now I'll show you guys glimpses of some of the other cards that are in the minor arcana, but this is just for your reference of like how she shows the different numbers and the suits. So wands, we see that wands, yeah, like that, wands. Some ideas of the cups, what it does look like. These are what the cup cards look like. Okay, she gagged me with this card. Why is this card so beautiful? Princess of Cup Dreams. Look at that dress. Here we have some swords, the queen of swords and the prince of swords cards. Like the artistry is really beautiful. Wow. And the disc. I love this one. We have the four of disc right here, stability. Seven of disc right here perseverance and it looks like the chakras i love that that the discs are actually circles and it's not necessarily um yeah i like that it's that she uses different colors of circles and it's not just one shape or like one imagery um that it just oh my goodness it looks different stained glass circles five of disc and you know that this still this card still has elements of the writer tarot, writer weight because the writer weight often de depicts stained glass and church and maybe like depression or confession. So yeah, the, the fact that she kept that element is really dope. All right, so these are really some beautiful cards. I'm really happy to have unboxed it in this way and just capturing it in, in real time. Um, but yeah, definitely get this deck. So yeah, definitely get this deck. These cards are beyond beautiful. Um, she did an amazing job on them. And I just am like, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> You know what? I am actually going to do something really fun. I just boxed it away, but I'm going to do a one card pull from this deck as a message for everyone who's watching this video. Let's see. So I'm just going to do a quick shuffle. Ooh, first card that flew out over here. We have, ah, the sun card beautiful so let's see what the message says for the sun card in the field tarot deck this is such a beautiful image the 
book and I opened right to it. Wow. So it says, the sun represents the light at the end of the tunnel. It's positive, joyous rays of energy flow and bring warmth through the cold. The future is bright and everything will be right, all right as you overcome your personal hurdles with confidence and strength. Keywords, happiness, vitality, fulfillment, abundance, success. And it's card number 33. So um, if this resonates, if you're about to turn 33, if um, you are in a season of postpartum and now moving out of that, then I think this message found you at its exact time and moment for a reason. So um, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Field Tarot deck by Hannah Elizabeth Fafana. And she is the illustrator, but I'm sure she also wrote the book. So this whole deck is by her. And she did an amazing, beautiful job. And as you guys, many of you may be mamas or people who are thinking of birth, this may be a great deck to gift to someone who has had a baby, is going through a season of postpartum, or is also just going through any life change and likes really pretty beautiful tarot decks because that's exactly what it is. Um, so I love you guys. I'm going to link this deck down below for you guys. I'm also going to be using it when I do my pick a card videos and intuitive messages. So I hope you guys love it. And also let me know your thoughts on the deck, on the unboxing, <laughs> not on my nails. We know what they look like. Thanks. Bye. And you made it this far, so I think you'll like my other videos, so you might as well subscribe.